Here's a strange question. Looking to this Yamaha, and to this Royal Enfield. Do you see anything in common? Absolutely nothing. Right? Well, maybe two wheels, and the internal combustion engine. Other than that, there is nothing in common. But there's one man in the world, who thought differently. One of those rare talents, who likes to defy common sense. And he did it amazingly well. Because he picked up two completely different machines. And made them even better, than they were before. Welcome to Racer TV. For all those who like the purity in a cafe racer, this bike is surely a fine example lightweight and powerful minimalist clean and beautiful even underneath the seat but to get this apparent simplicity creativity technical skills and good taste are required three requirements, which were not lacking to the young builder, and his friends. Asim Singh Pawar, owner of inline three custom motorcycles, located in India. Everything was built in just two and a half month. This was the deadline, to present his project in the Biker Build-Off Championship. At the India Bike Week, But if you think this is impressive, just wait until you see the building conditions. Asim still doesn't have his own dedicated workshop, he doesn't have a multi-million dollar setup. All the work happened on the roadside, using a few basic tools. This is what I call a real custom builder enthusiast. Despite Asim having only 25 years of age, this is already his third project. The first one was the FS350. A Yamaha RD350 engine shoved inside a KTM Duke. A bit too flashy for my taste but still quite impressive. His second custom motorcycle, was the Sonic 200, which is based on the KTM RC200. After seeing these two projects, we can easily detect a great improvement, compared to his last build. The overall design, is much more mature, sophisticated, and subtle. Try to enjoy these smooth curves, of the new frontal structure. Couldn't be better. According to a seam, this machine can not only perform well in straight line, but also carve corners, like a hot knife through butter.
Usually, people don't associate Royal Enfield with performance. But again, a scene made a point of challenging the standard senses. All worldwide existing performance parts for Royal Enfield are in this motor. So let's do a quick summary to identify this bike. The frame came from a Yamaha R15. The swing arm belongs to a Royal Enfield Thunderbird. The front forks and rear suspension are from a KTM Duke 390. And the engine came from a 2011 Royal Enfield 500. All this lead me to the initial problem when I started to make this video. In other words, what kind of title should I use? A very small problem, compared with the difficulties that I seem had to complete this impressive work. And considering his impressive talent, I'm sure we will hear about him again. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.